Exciting. <laughs> you could have, maybe we could get him a couple I mean, M&Ms or something. <laughs> you want a few? Just a couple, not the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, it's not letting me give you any for the blood sugar. This is the hard part, is you have to wait. And why is that? Because the insulin's in him, but maybe not working yet. The treatment of people with type 1 diabetes comes with many, many challenges because of the burden on the patient and family. Diabetes affects her just as much as it affects him. And that's really hard. I think every mom or dad thinks, oh, I wish I could just have it. It'd be easier if it was just something I had to do for myself. You know, I would just be in control of it. But when you're managing it as a family, it's hard on everybody. I identify myself first and foremost as a climber. Adventure is a big part of my life. It's something that means a lot to me. And I have type 1 diabetes, which I've had since I was 16 years old. When I'm climbing, uh, I don't feel like a diabetic. It demands your attention, and it really gives you a feeling of purpose. On a day-to-day -day level, diabetes is something that is very unpredictable. It's a worry. It taxes your mind even when you don't realize it because you're constantly thinking, what happens if I go low? What happens if I go high? And these things are always on your mind in the background. The mission of T1D Exchange is very simple. We want to improve outcomes for everyone affected by type 1 diabetes. We want to reduce the burden, and we want to accelerate the most promising research that will create a worry-free life for people with type 1 diabetes. One of the things I think that makes the exchange so very special in facing those challenges is perhaps recognizing the amount of input that we can get from patients to be able to move forward, come up with the kind of tailored therapies that will deal with those challenges. How is it that we've now gone for centuries studying type 1 diabetes and we have no idea what causes it? If we can find a way to understand the cause of type 1 diabetes, we could potentially find a way to prevent it from occurring. And the impact on those lives could be immense. I think what's really different about the T1D exchange is that it's a single access resource for everything needed to support better care, faster research, and the delivery of new therapies and treatments for people affected by type 1 diabetes. Right now, the exchange is studying over 30,000 people. The vision is that by sharing this information, we can learn how to advance the care and advance the outcomes. The T1D Exchange has played a really important role as a partner for us. As a small company with limited resources, we don't have a huge staff to run multi-site studies. T1D Exchange brings this incredible network of research sites, of experienced and highly qualified investigators, and a pool of patients who are interested in participating in clinical studies. I mean, it's an incredible opportunity for us. A T1D Exchange was designed to develop all aspects and stages of research. We offer a robust clinic network where we recruit patients for studies and trials. We established a clinic-based registry to understand how type 1 diabetes are being cared for. We have the biorepositories, an amazing collection of samples that patients have donated to biomedical research. And we created Glue, an online community that has one foot in social media and one foot in research. The process that the T1D Exchange is using is really engaging and driven by the community, and it's incrementally improving the lives of people with diabetes. The idea is to get people who live with type 1 diabetes to share information with each other about what they're doing to improve their lives. They're sharing lessons learned, they're finding support, and they're participating in research designed to better understand the disparities of living with type 1 diabetes. There's a lot of people who are living with this in silence and don't have any understanding that there's this community out there. What makes T1D Exchange different is that connection to the actual patient community and being able to use your own experience to impact change. All of that, I feel like, makes a difference to my patient here. <laughs> As I've been a part of the GLUE community, I'm able to answer questions every single day that reflect my personal experience in a way that actually goes to research. The patient needs to drive the kinds of studies that will help their lives, that will help meet the unmet needs that they have. 
We have everything we need to understand type 1 diabetes, accelerate new therapies, and deliver a better worry-free life for everyone with type 1 diabetes. In 2012, I took a year and I climbed every single day for 365 days. And on the final day, I climbed the hardest route that I've ever climbed. I'm a chronic worrier, that's what I do. I, I think diabetes has trained me like that. But I was able to let go of the worry for just long enough where before I knew it, I was at the top. And the most amazing thing about it for me was realizing that that wasn't even close to the hardest thing that I could climb. The exchange can facilitate worry-free care for people with diabetes. And if we can do that one step at a time, it'll be the greatest accomplishment in my professional career.